I'm just a guy who loves Disney and has way too much time on his hands. As always, if anybody from Disney is watching, please don't sue me. I'm here to rate, review, and describe all of your favorite things from the magical world of Disney. I'm Fallen On To Any, and welcome to my Disney News and Reviews. Hello everyone and welcome to this week's Disney News and Reviews. I'm File91E and all the entries have been totaled. Today is the day that I'm going to be uh, picking a winner for uh, this unofficial guide to Walt Disney World 2010 book. You guys have uh, responded in some you know, pre you know, pretty good numbers. I uh, had up to 30 entries today and uh, well not today but th uh, throughout this past week and I'll be picking one of you to win. And I'm not going to be picking it now. You're going to have to watch this whole video. And then right at the end, I want to pick it, choose the winner, congratulate you. And I'll be sending this book out sometime next week after Tuesday, because that's when I get paid next. So, yep. So just watch till the end of the video, and you'll see who wins. So, don't skip. So let's get right to the news. A lot of news this week. The 2009 Epcot International Food and Wine Festival starts today, Friday, September 25th. So if you're down, uh, if you're going to go down to uh, to Epcot anytime w within this month, check it out. From what I hear, it's spe it's spectacular. You get to sample food and wine from all the all kinds of different regions and whatnot. From what I hear, it's a pretty cool uh, part of Epcot. So check that out when you're, uh, if you're down there. A reservation can now be made for a new holiday tour being offered beginning late this November. Disney's Holiday D Lights Tour will be uh, will show how the twinkle of holiday magic is created for the Osborne family spectacle of, of dancing lights, the transformation of uh, Cinderella Castle, and the candlelight processional. Check allears.net for more details. It'll give you times and dates and whatnot. But um, yeah, yeah, this is pretty cool. It's kind of a, a behind-the-scenes tour of how they get all the lights set up and, and everything. And yeah, from what I hear, you have to be over 16 in order to get on this this tour. Um, so check it out if you're interested. And the Fountain of Nations, uh, which is the uh, the Epcot Fountain, uh, has been getting uh, all new stainless steel railings over the past few weeks, ju just in time for the Food and Wine Festival. And uh, they have been completed, and they now have some very uh, nice-looking Spaceship Earth-inspired details on it. I've, I have some pictures up there for you. So uh, when you're down at Epcot, uh, to check that out. There's a lot of Epcot news this week, but uh, it's a big thing with the uh, Food and Wine Festival. So let's get right to the reviews. I'm actually going to review a, a couple more rides, but from where? Watch. Okay, summer has officially turned to fall, and a lot of you guys have been asking me to review water rides, and I figured, you know what, I want to mix that with the fact that it's, you know, it, it's not summer anymore, and I want to celebrate what, you know, what summer was by reviewing some water rides. I've only been to Typhoon Lagoon, and in Typhoon Lagoon, I've only been on a couple rides in there. I'm not a big water ride uh, person, as you, as you, as I've told you, so, um, the, but I have I have been on a few, and the first thing that I want to review is the Crush and Gusher. Now these guys don't give a standard review uh, style to the water parks, but they do give some information. Now, what these guys say uh, it's a, you need to be 48 inches or taller to ride the, uh, the this water coaster, and when they say it's a water roller coaster where you can choose from among three slides: the Banana Blaster, the Coconut Crusher, and the Pineapple Plunger, all ranging from 410 feet to 420 feet long. Now, I really liked this ride, um, it, and it really, it honestly, is a ride. You know, with uh, when you think of a water slide, you think it's just you know just using gravity to, and you get in a tube and you just go down a couple slides and that's it. Not this one. You go down and you go up. They uh, they have a, a a cool rocket water jet system that thrusts you up uh, up hills. So it's actually kind of you know like a roller coaster. You go down a big a big drop and you go up a big drop you spin around and it's just crazy and like and like these guys say you do go, you, you can pick among you know uh, among three tracks we only went on one I'm not sure which one I can't remember which one we went on it was the first ride that we went on uh, at that uh, uh, that day at Typhoon Lagoon but it's, uh, I'm telling you it's not for the faint at heart it really does move you it is a water coaster it's not just a you know your normal um, standard just little you know, stinky water slide this is the crush and gusher uh, but the crush and gusher 
I had a real, you know, I, I had a really good time. It's one of the things if you go to Typhoon Lagoon, I recommend you hit each time. Uh, so, uh, the question gusher out of five, I'm going to give four stars. It's probably one of the better uh, water slides I went on at, uh, at the park. Uh, you know, one of the better experiences I, I have there, um, and one of the few water slides that I actually went on. So, uh, uh, you know, good job to them. Four stars for the crushing gusher. Okay, one of the other things that I really remember and had a great time on was the Castaway Creek Lazy River. Uh, it is exactly what you th you know what you think it is. It's a lazy river. There is no height requirement like they say in there, and it's just a lazy river. It's half mile long around the park, and uh, I really enjoyed this one because I, you know when I go to a water park, I just want to chill out and just hang on, you know, just sit on a tube and just float my way around and just relax. And that's exactly what I did. Uh, it's about four foot deep, four or five foot deep, and uh, you know with jets that move the creek around so that you're not just sitting stationary. And uh, a, a good amount of people actually get on it and enjoy it. But yeah, you know it, it, it's a lazy river and it's nice. I mean, there's really some stuff to see. You go you know through caves and whatnot. It's really cool. I had a really good time, you know, uh, on it, and um, I think you all will too. So the Castaway Creek, I'm gonna give three stars. It's a it's a pretty cool thing. There's a lot of other really cool water slides, you know, in Typhoon Lagoon that I just didn't go on just because I'm not a water slide guy. But this can, if you like lazy rivers, you're gonna like this one. So Castaway Creek at Typhoon Lagoon, three stars. Okay, the last thing I'm going to review is the gigantic wave pool that they have at Typhoon Lagoon. I love that thing. I spent probably more of my time in the wave pool than I did anywhere else. Um, I, I love wave pools for whatever reason. I love just you know hearing the whoosh and then you know there's a giant wave coming and it's barreling down on you and you're like, oh my god! And then you see some little kid go, ah! And then get tossed around in the wave and then once you realize they're alive and then you can laugh at them but if if they don't come up then you can't laugh or usher you're you're you're, you're a bad person remember that kids remember that but yeah so uh it, it's a, it's a giant wave pool and they have every like a wave i think it's every uh three and a half minutes or a minute and a half minute and a half i think it's a minute and a half but uh they just they chuck these waves at you, and occasionally you know there'll be downtime for the wave generators just because they don't want it to overheat, and then nobody gets to have fun. But there are uh, you know lifeguards patrolling, so uh, so kids, if you don't know how to swim, please don't go into the deep end and then wind up having to drown. That's not good, you know. Stay in the kiddie pool if you have to, and the waves come all the way up, you know, to the uh, to the end, and uh, you know you will have fun with that. So the big wave pool at Typhoon Lagoon, I'm going to give four stars. I love that thing. It's one of the better wave pools I've ever been in because it's consistent and it doesn't break down all the time. And uh, who knows, maybe one of these days when I go back down to Disney World, I'll actually get in, go on the other water slides at Typhoon Lagoon. But I'm not a big water park guy, so I doubt that's going to be possible. But you asked for some water ride reviews, and I gave them to you. Uh, one of them only being really the crush and gusher, and that's a real ride. So, yeah, the big wave pull, four stars. Okay, I, I hope you enjoyed this week's uh, tribute to summer. This uh, you know this little uh, water park themed um, episode is not really themed, but you know I reviewed a whole bunch of water park rides. But yeah, that, that, that's not what you're here for. You're here to see who is the official winner for this. Walt Disney World to uh, Unofficial Guide 2010. And uh, I want to pour the entries into this hat and then I want to I want to pick it out for you. So here you go. Any more in there? No more, okay? You see I'm not cheating you. And just, and just so you know I'm not cheating you. I did have people at work verify that all of these are random. So. Here is the winner for the unofficial guide to Walt Disney World 2010. My first ever giveaway. The winner is... Are you kidding me, huh? Congratulations, are you kidding me, huh? You have won this unofficial guide to Walt Disney World 2010. I will be in contact with you to get your information and believe me, it's trustworthy. I am not going to send in, you know, a whole bunch of spam to your house. This is, this is going to be coming to you and I will sign it uh, if you want me to and uh, Yeah, congratulations, man. You did you, you, 
you uh, you entered and you got it. You're one of my uh, oldest fans, so uh, that, uh, that that's cool. So uh, you know, congratulations on that. See, it pays to watch me. Uh, yeah, so congratulations. Uh, also, I will be doing uh, Corn Chucks bonus stage marathons. Uh, uh, we'll be commentating from 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. tonight, in case you forgot. Uh, so if you're if you watch this tonight and it's uh, around nine o'clock click over to there You can ask me any questions. You, uh, you know, a whole bunch of questions. You can talk to me I'll be on webcam for an hour pretty much to do to talk about whatever you want and, and corn track will be there So I should be hilarity her hilarity should ensue there um, So are you kidding me, huh? There you go. You won. So I will uh, so I'll, I'll send you these uh, Thank you for watching and uh, I will be back next week so I'll see you next week, guys. Congratulations.